and Hillary. Look at these trees. It's so windy. And I'm getting random. And uh, we are searching for, look at those birds. This is also a sign of rain, like when they're flying away on you know, one side in a group. All the birds means some kind of rain or some sky disaster is coming. Nice. Is that a bicycle? That's electric unicycle, yeah. Really, really bad. Ooh, we heard beeps. Wheel was beeping. Wow, it is windy. Damn and rainy. These drops with high wind. I must be yelling and screaming on the video, but you might not be able to feel it because I have Dead Cat installed on my mic. Damn. Damn. People are flying. Oh, trees down. Ooh. <laughs> A lot of tree branches falling off. So guess what? Hillary is coming to Arizona. Hillary is coming to Arizona. Not Hillary Clinton, but Hurricane Hillary. I don't know why they name hurricanes like and female names for all the hurricanes in, in here. So what we do? Gear up first, gear up first. Always gear up. Even if you go for like uh, pussy rides, always gear up. Gear up like you will fall next minute. As soon as you step on your wheel, you're gonna fall. So where are we going today? I'll give you all the information so today's mission is today we have two missions we only have 20 percent battery on our wheel so we can't go far today's mission is to find a power outlet on my favorite most favorite locations where i can use my telescope my telescope is power telescope i can buy battery but why we get battery batteries are expensive like 200 dollars so i want to see i know a couple of places where which are really really dark at night which are very close to my house i want to see if there's a public power outlet outside or nearby there i have a long extension cord we're gonna be searching and looking for power extension and if you're wondering why i have this like bag plastic bag like uh, old aunties because we're gonna return a couple of things in back to amazon so we have to visit calls and return this so two missions find outlet and go to calls and return this shit a quick flight check with, your, with my thumb air pressure is okay my seat it's doing wonders. Let's turn on EUC World 112.5 volt, 25% battery. So we don't have much to play with. And I was wondering, like, thinking to do a little bit of fast spins. It looks like we won't be able to do fast spins. And Hillary, look at these trees. It's so windy. And I'm getting random, random, random like uh, droplets, rain droplets. So we do not want to ride in rain. Like conditions are not ideal. We have one of the most vulnerable wheel to water and rain. And we have uh, Hillary coming up. The most of the severe Hillary effects will be in California. Wow, some people are racing. California is gonna be the most affected place for Hillary. Okay, let's do a quick fast run before battery goes even more down. With all the bags and uh, fucking tellies and shit. So last night, I took everything upon myself and I went ahead and cut. The last night I didn't record video, but my mission was to cut these branches. So I was out with my knife and shit. And I was just like cutting everything on these branches. Really, really windy. It's Hurricane Hillary. Windy and we riding, trying to ride fast. Damn, it's like recipe for disaster. Damn, it's raining, man. I can feel droplets, but I'm happy about these branches. I cut them last night. Nice, 
no interruption. Oh man, this one I forgot. I'll come back some other time. This one as well. Okay, it was really, really bad before, man. Trust me, really, really bad. Ooh, we heard beeps. Wheel was beeping. We went too fast. For the ooh, level of battery. Okay, wheel beeped because voltages are too low to go too fast. Wheel beeped. And it's raining. And we have other missions. So this means we're gonna turn around. This is going to mean that we're gonna turn around. Okay. Wow, it is windy. Damn and rainy. Man. These drops with high wind, I must be yelling and screaming on the video, but you might not be able to feel it because I have dead cat installed on my mic. Dang. Hillary's most affected areas are uh, California side, San Diego side. Damn, Smindy. Damn, people are flying. Oh, trees down. Oh, <laughs> damn. On, the, on our way back there, I was wondering why I'm able to ride so fast. Because wind was pushing from the back. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Because this is very open, wide area. Uh, let's go closer to uh, houses and buildings. Buildings and houses resist wind. It's feeling really nice to ride in the daytime finally. Because of Hillary, temperatures of Arizona and uh, especially Phoenix are going down to really perfect ideal temperatures like 96 right now Fahrenheit. Like we have like 105 every day. Uh, damn. Loving it. So now we're gonna go straight to a uh, spot, first suspected spot for uh, astrography, uh, observing the sky, stargazing. Our telescope is like a power telescope, like I said. So we need power outlet. Uh, if we don't wanna spend more like money on uh, battery power station. So yeah. So we have to take uh, pavements because this location is behind those buildings. There's a really nice dark spot that where you can uh, put your like tenting chair and uh, set up for the stargazing and star astroph astrophotography. It requires like hours and hours of time and patience. This is a business of patience. So search starts from here. So this is the path which gets really, really dark at night. And we have clear sky on our right hand side. Once, uh, not clear, dark and open sky on our right hand side. Once it's clear and Hillary is gone. So we need to find uh, if we can find a public outlet. Sometimes you find those, you know. They remove the fans. That's nice. Hmm. This might be the nice suspected area. F-A, F-A, F-A. We did not find any power outlets on our first location. Oh man, let's go do the coals task first because rain is about at the age like can start pouring down any minute and I'm gonna be safe and ride slow 
because we beeped and so I'm gonna go from inside the market so if you go from inside the market you are forced to ride slow wheel beeped on us there are some rain our droplets coming onto us uh, but this rain I'm sure I'm hoping and the wheel will be fine in this rain this rain is not like uh, pouring down or like pissing up really really slow like occasional like every two seconds rains uh, exposure is like a drop in a second like one drop per second so this rain should be fine for uh, our commander pro our, even our tire is not wet yet so we can uh, take a uh, uh, guess we quickly go to coals and do our thing and go back home even our battery is low so we should not do uh, a lot of times people with me with this 360 camera out people think like I'm uh, doing Google Maps and shit like, but this is not Google Maps uh, definitely not Google Maps but you can do Google Maps with uh, 360 camera is the one that is used for Google Maps. Whoa, this is the uh, wide open space. And, oh, nice. On our way back, we're gonna suffer. Wind is on our back. I guess we can pick up some speed, but scared of 20% battery and voltage is under 110 it's all clear okay now now we're facing wind again it's awesome to ride in daytime seriously like almost forgot how nice it is to ride in the daytime like full visibility everything you can ride faster at daytime because of awesome visibility and shit like that but because of uh, weather phoenix hot weather we were forced to ride at night only thanks to hillary and the temps are down to 96 Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera on a stealth mode. Okay, we are officially. Thank you. You're welcome. Cutie. <laughs> so, of course, we are like a center of. Uh, attention by attraction or attention because we dress like Robocop uh, we have this strange looking machine okay return Amazon return location from uh, left inside to right inside at the far end because they want you to look at all these promotions hi how are you Good not bad we have two items okay I'll check The mirror and the eyepiece? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Is that a bicycle? That's electric unicycle, yeah. 
Oh, the unicycle. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One thing I absolutely hate about Commander Pro is you have to bend. If you are a little taller than average height, you'll have to like bend to handle it everywhere. Trolling it, it's gonna be pain. Uh, I'm constantly bent. We are back to danger zone of uh, battery level. So on EUC World, battery is showing 18% in yellow hazard warning. And on the screen, wheels screen, LCD screen is showing only one bar. And we were riding at like 30 mile an hour. Riding 30 mile an hour at battery voltage of below 110 is kind of risky so we bring out our camera from stealth mode to normal mode freedom so there's one more area a couple of more areas where it's dark and open sky and when it's clear of clouds it's ideal for uh, stargazing we can go and look for a power outlet we're gonna head there and see how it is. It looks like we will have to invest in a battery again. So I always had this uh, hobby and interest of stargazing from childhood. And I've been doing a lot of uh, observing since childhood with binoculars and uh, some small cheap telescopes and now this hobby like, like is same like EUC's they say EUC is a, a retirement hobby a lot of uh, over 50 love this hobby and same with the stargazing and star observing hobby is also known for being uh, for the retirees a lot of old Folks love stargazing and telescopes and this and that. It's good, like I feel lucky I'm grateful enough and privileged enough to, have, to be able to afford and do these hobbies that you normally do when you retire. Like I'm able to do it when I'm 40. Blessed. It is green, we have car behind us as well which uh, we don't want to annoy and we don't want to fall in the middle of the intersection too that would be disaster hey that would be disaster hey so this is so tempting like these straight paths where our batteries like we're riding at 34 km per hour at one bar and 110 volts which is not ideal so tempting to go fast on this especially when you have wind pushing you from the back and assisting you we're just gonna check one more location and then go home that's it we call it a day so one of the good things about bigger wheels and bigger system is that we battery 16% voltage is 110 is you can reduce the beeps sound so I always keep it at 2 level 2 really really low beeps and since now the battery is almost dead I'm thinking to increase the volume volume back things with both hands beeper volume <laughs> yeah now the beeper volume is high okay 
bikers Saron bikers so this is the other place where it gets really really dark at night and uh, we are searching for look at those birds they're all in a group ride and this is also a sign of rain like when they're flying away on uh, one side in a group all the birds means some kind of rain or some sky disaster is coming okay so far no outlet a lot of tree branches fallen off soldiers cactus are dying in uh, Arizona because of heat there was a news about cactus falling off randomly no no outlet so yeah the beeper so in big old wheels you can lower the beeper so I always keep it at two but since our battery when your battery is low make sure you remember to uh, bump up high volume of those beepers like change it back to high so you know what's happening when wheel tries to tell you something you can hear it so far no outlet no outlet so there's also a park so park should have a outlet or two park should have outlet or two and park is like wide and open sky as well there's a park let's go look at a park park would be nice too because like uh, there's a parking you can come in your car i cannot bring my telescope on euc at all i need car because my telescope is big enough there's a lot of stuff like ipcs and even the tube teleco telescope itself is wide enough and we are getting hungry we haven't had our lunch yet no outlet so far so this is the park which is close to our house as well like five miles under five miles and it gets dark in here as well at night and I'm thinking like maybe we set up here one night and do our stargazing but there is no socket we can see so far we might look weird because we go in circles no socket no socket 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 no socket like those batteries are like expensive like two hundred dollars two hundred and fifty dollars uh, have those power stations they can provide like 12 hours of electricity and observation but trying to not spend that much money No socket. <sighs> that is sad. Like, how can a park who has like no socket? I'm sure there are some, but we can't. Uh, we just keep constantly moving on the move. You know looking at it properly so that was a absolute failure like unsuccessful mission of finding outlet and uh, now we're heading back home slowly because wheel starts to beep for low voltage uh, yeah battery is like 10 percent 108 volts and um, yeah we're going slowly slowly towards our home wind is on uh, 
like in, on our face. It's nice when it comes from the back, it pushes you. The rain, thankfully, touch wood hasn't started yet. Same like random droplets. So yeah, we had two missions today, find outlet and go to coals and return shit. First mission, failed finding outlet. Second mission, returning shit to coals was success. So I call it a successful ride. Wish we could ride faster because we don't get to ride every day in the daytime.